Right, guys, come see this one. So, when we are inside, double bicep, we're winning, we're on the inside track. Sometimes we start to work, we go for an underhook, or sometimes from the outside, it's your choice. You might have an in-out, a split grip, or a double out, or whatever the case is. But I might propel her with the same energy I would use for an elbow, but I drive it into an underhook, right? So, you can acquire underhooks from lots of different ways. What's the difference between me having an underhook and him having an over -wrap? The elbow so being high. Yeah, my elbow is that low. It's just waiting for Jordy to uh, be aware yeah. and, have, and he's gonna crush me down even there. And once in there, hold tight. Even that, without a wrap, it's hard for me to get back. So I need to get my hips, I have, my hips have to drive it, I have to lift it. What does my hand do? Go far. No, nope. has to dump up the cup. Right, that rotation is gonna strengthen the deltoid and raise up my elbow. Right, that's what I wanna see from there. Now, normally we look at underhook and we often look at underhook and pike on the same side, right? Today we're gonna to start off with underhook and nape, which means I'm in this position, I'm fighting super tight, we're hitting, we're working, but as I drive in, right, I'm gonna look at how I can acquire this position here. So some people will turn it, some people will peel the deltoid. The easiest thing to do is to chain your hands together in a C grip or a gable grip, because in this position my thumb is already down. So I dump it and I C grip. My C grip is a very good, basic, instructive way to teach it. Now normally you're gonna be down with your head like that, I've, I've been maybe see double in track bicep, I go whoosh, and I get this, right? You'll see if you wrestle with me, I get this a lot, and then I squeeze and I just get you in this, and I hold and I drill and whatever the case is. So I want to see how I can acquire that, and from this position I can start to fight. If I stay in the vice, I'm squeezing his head and his arm together, and my head is in between. If I stay here, this is a good place for knees, instep kicks, stomps, takedowns. If I turn... That's a good place for throws. And if I head slip, whoosh, now I've got a far side head and arm, which is more of a vice. It's not a choke, but it's more of a vice lock to take somebody down. I would only do that for context. Normally I like to be here. I'm only gonna switch head sides if it becomes too dangerous, because at this point, his head is between his hand and my face. So at least that part of my face is protected. I'm using his skull as a helmet. So now what's the only or the main vulnerability? Right, it's going to be that. It's going to be uppercuts and knees, right? So I could release and shield, but then I lose my grip. So normally I'm going to drive in with knees and fill the void and look to move my hips to get in. That's the primary goal. Try not to reach. I could also drive under very tight and take it away and then work from there with whatever I want to do. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So I had double inside. I want you to play to see how you can nape, underhook, and how you can tie it up together. There's significant work here. Just from, I can draw my hips in that tight and then I lower myself and your body's in all sorts of, it's like a scarecrow goes to a chiropractor. Bad things happen. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Try it up. Nice and slow.